Well, hello everyone. Hi everyone. This is Sheila. I'm Valerie. And it's two days liches. Uh, we're doing our uh, vlog turn or no, blog, blog turn blog. blog. And uh, today's is going to be about solutions are the question. You can see our blogs at uh, two days liches.com, the number two. Uh, we have we do them there quite frequently. And yeah. then we post all them. of our blogs are, are posted. Yeah. So it seems as though 2020 is and has been a problem generating year. Mm -hmm. Yay. Uh, problems, problems everywhere. Uh, every time I look at Facebook or Instagram or any other social media platform out there, it seems to be full of problems. Everyone has an issue attached. We have wild conspiracy theories about all of these problems also. Mm. Uh, the world seems content on asking what and where the problems are. They see them and they discuss them openly on any platform that will let them. Uh, I won't get into the theories, just that there are many. We know True. that, right? In a previous blog, I spoke of the victim mentality. In another, I spoke of being drunk on protest. There are a million issues with problems attached. If the conspiracy theorists out there were concerned with the problem, then why are they not concerned with the solution. Mm. Uh, if you do not agree with them, you are a sheep or burying your head in the sand. If you do not agree with them, then you are not a thinker. I disagree. If you are willing to say, I do not agree, you are a thinker. If your opinion does not meet another person's opinion exactly, you are not a sheep, but rather the shepherd of the flock. Just because your opinion does not match another does not mean you bury your head in the sand. Mm -hmm. In school, children are taught nowadays to question everything. Question authority, question the norm, everything. Mm, right? True. I have no problem with this. I think it's a beautiful way to live. However, if all you do is question, then what about getting to the root of an issue and learning to solve the problems. The question is just the start. If you are not willing to do the work required to find a solution, then you are a problem finder. You do not add value. You just see the problem. And I don't want to break your bubble here, but almost everybody can see a problem. Yes. Real value comes in finding the solution. So I can tell you that the government does not listen to the needs of the people, but everybody knows this. So instead, I want to find a solution. I want to stop finding the problems and start by looking into the solution. No, I do not want to be a representative. <laughs> that is not something I would want to do. Having people attack me every day, nope. I felt like a platform for moderate, respectful, like-minded individuals would be a great place to start. Mm -hmm. To see where people that have concerns could try and change some things out there. Do I think this will change the world? Nope. But I do think it may light a fire under a few asses to get them actively seeking a solution to a problem that affects them. Yeah. If you're reading the internet to find solutions, it will not happen. However, if you're looking for them, the, the problems, you will find them in abundance. Everyone in every place can find problems. Can you find solutions? If you believe in any of the conspiracy theories out there and you are posting other people's conspiracy theories, then what are you doing to find the solution? Why are you not posting the solutions to your theories? Why are you using other people's words? Why is it all okay for you to post others' theories, but if someone posts something to the contrary, they are dismissed? If I have an opinion, it can be posted as an opinion. It does not make it fact and it does not make it relevant. So for all of you that are trying to post your conspiracies on my page, I say this. Put it in your own words. Relate it to your life. Look for the solution and do the real work, including going back to school or working at a job that's relevant to your topic of interest or get a blog, create a blog, hmm. create interest, right? There are a great deal of people that believe the earth is flat. Still, 
You will never <laughs> convince them otherwise. It is obvious they have not tried to walk around the world. Now, if they were truly looking for a solution, if they were truly looking for the answer, we all know they could just go for the walk. Go for a walk. Solutions are the question. 